Alright guys, well, welcome to part 2 of our Istanbul recall and uh, this time we're going to be playing FIFA 2005 uh, as uh, of course that was the other game that was out at the time and um, yeah, today, uh, you know, in the last episode we talked about, um, you know, the match and the build up to it today, um, 26th of May uh, we would have been reflecting on the match and seeing, <laughs> giving our analysis on what is probably the best, greatest moment in football has ever been. And um, I don't know what to say really, like uh, for me, I just went to bed that night so happy, <laughs> just so, so happy. Some people would have left at half time, you know what I mean guys, like some people probably just... Um, sat there and just thought right this is Milan's night I'm off to bed or something I got work tomorrow or or whatever you know um, some people might have uh, I don't know you know just I don't know guys you know what I mean some people might have just left the stadium or, or if they'd been there you know what I mean and uh, it has happened to some people guys it has actually happened where some people that night Ooh, went to bed thinking Milan had won this got up the next morning you know you get a newspaper you turn on the TV whatever you do and it's like holy crap Liverpool actually won <laughs> and it's just you know what I mean I knew I couldn't just stop watching though I mean I, I, at half time I was thinking there's just no point but I'm going to continue and um, yeah just why not and uh, we're playing uh, at Anfield here I believe so yeah you know I mean I would get like all the the you know I don't think well the Atatürk I don't think is in this game is it I don't think it is it might be I don't know guys um, uh, you know I mean I would play it in the real stadium or, or whatever but you know what it's just it's more about the the memories than anything else but uh, I remember like you know some of my like friends and family I remember one kid at my school wore his Liverpool shirt uh, on this very day 10 years ago <laughs> um, you know like well, we didn't wear it directly because you're not allowed in, in in the school I went to at least <laughs> but um, he wore it under his uh, under his school uniform and um, you know what I mean I'm gonna have a crack that was pathetic you <laughs> but um, you, know, you know what I mean like it just just the memories I can remember is remember it as if it was yesterday, guys. And uh, you know, uh, friends and family saying, "Well, you know, we've just won the league, uh, Champions League. Sorry, so we should do better in the league next season. We should get a few good signings in, um, and all this kind of stuff." And you know, I mean, like, there's been so much, guys. You know, what I mean, there's been like documentaries, you know, movies about it. You know, what I mean, it's crazy the amount of stuff. Um, that has been said about it. I remember the very next day, uh, I think I got home from, oh, should have been in, I think. Um, I got home from school and I was like, desperately, I was playing, I was playing the exact same match, guys. 26th of May, 2005, I was playing this exact same match in the game. Liverpool, just default team against Milan. Um, actually, no, I think I put Schmitzer on because I remember his goal and I was trying to recreate that goal with Schmitzer that he scored. And um, I, it was crazy, and I can't believe ten years ago I was playing this game with the exact same fixture, and around about the same time as I'm recording this as well. Um, and here I am, ten years later, doing the exact same. It's just, it's insane. You know what I mean? And just like trying to recreate the final. I think I was like trying to put myself in a situation. I think I put like three own goals in the back of my net, guys. It's just just to try and like recreate the final and um, like try and play as Liverpool and, and like win or whatever. And Cissé, yes, Cissé, brilliant player on this game. You know what I mean? I hope I hope I can play with Liverpool in uh, in my career mode um, for the channel. But uh, enough about that. Like you know, ah, oh, it's amazing. You know what I mean? People from all over the world just like you know talking about it. I mean, imagine. If that final took place now, you know what I mean, in 2015 instead of like 2005, you know what I mean, back in 2005, yeah, the internet was there, you know, the internet was getting a lot more popular, um, you know, Twitter, I don't think Twitter existed, did it back then, um, I think Facebook, I don't even think Facebook existed, did it yet? I think it might. I think actually, I think Facebook did exist, but like, it, not not as many people knew about it or used it. Wow, that is a soft goal. 
um, by Barros there. And you know what I mean, guys? Just just like just so strange you know what I mean there would have been a hell of a lot more you know what I mean the only thing you had back in those days guys was maybe internet if you used it um personally I didn't I don't think actually I think I did use the internet back then yeah but I didn't use it too much because I was just a kid um you know you would have newspapers you would have uh friends or family that would talk about it and you know tv and that's pretty much it you know what I mean nowadays you've got all these social media stuff and it's crazy and um, you know what I mean people from America all over Europe um, Australia places like that man just affected a lot of people um, you know what I mean Milan fans crying at the end of the game you know I mean uh, you look at it and it's like it was a disaster for Liverpool at half time you know what I mean but with Milan you know what I mean? <laughs> ended up being there. Ended up being an even bigger disaster for them in the end. You know what I mean? And it's just, it's so strange. It's like every time a match ends free free, um, it's just it reminds me of that night. It just does, just does, guys. And um, uh, you know, two years later, kind of ruined it. Two years later, because uh, Liverpool beat Chelsea on penalties to get to the Champions League final. I'm gonna have a crack with Garcia. Oh. Um, we beat Chelsea on penalties like 1-0 at Stamford Bridge and then it was like 1-0 at Anfield and then got through on penalties I think it was Dirk Kout scored a penalty that ultimately won it in the end um, what else uh, who did who did Milan played Man United and there was a lot of speculation that it might be a Liverpool United final I'm glad that the 2007 final wasn't um you know what I mean? Because if it was, then, uh, I mean, who knows how that would have gone, you know what I mean? But, like, um, you know, Milan just, like, thrashed United and got through, and I remember that, and it was just like, oh, my God, we are playing Milan in the Champions League final again. It's just... It's, like, written in the stars or something, this, you know what I mean? It really is. And... Um, Incredible, just, uh, I, I don't know what else more to say about it, you know what I mean, just, um, like, the post-game, you know, that's what it was, you know, just just summing up everything about it, you know what I mean, people out on the streets, the parades that they had in Liverpool, oh, good goal, um, sure, oh, well, it was Kaka who got a goal, um, you know, people on the streets saying things like, oh, you know, our children will won't know anything about this but you know in 10 years time 20 30 you know they're gonna know about this this is gonna be one of the best things ever and it just it is I, f I think about that final a lot guys you know what I mean I always think about it and I, I remember because 2005 guys like it's like I've said it I've said it in a previous video guys like me the month of May means a lot to me just not just because of this final but because a lot of things really but this final also kind of contributes to that a bit you know what I mean and like I've said that like, it's just like one of my favorite months and that and um, it's like I say you know May is probably the most emotional month in the football calendar because that's where most dreams come true and heartbreak happens you know what I mean promotion relegation all this kind of stuff and um, oh get it and yeah Ugh, Alonso smacks it. Nah, no, whatever. <laughs> um, you know what I mean? And uh, that's the kind of where my love for the month of May comes from. You know what I mean? I don't know how to explain it, guys. You know what I mean? Most people will be like, wait a minute. You know, Christmas or, <laughs> or um, you know, August time would probably be your favourite month because, you know, summer holidays and all that kind of stuff. But no. I'm just going for long shots here, guys. I'm just going for it. I'm not hitting the ball hard enough, though. And, um, you know, there's all a lot of speculation that Gerard might leave Liverpool and go to Chelsea and all this kind of stuff. And it's like, I look back on that and I think, well, you know, I don't think that was really going to happen. Liverpool had a much better season the season after. Um, Milan 
got their revenge pretty much. That kind of ruined it for me. But you know what? I, I Yeah, I was devastated that Liverpool didn't win the 2007 final. But, oh, great save. Now that I look back at it, it's like, yeah, we won two years earlier. So it doesn't really matter too much. I mean, yeah, it would have been fantastic. But fair play, you know what I mean? Milan probably deserved it more. Um, and uh, that's it. And we won this one 2-1. So that's good, guys. That is really good. And, um, yeah, so anyway, guys, that is my um, summary of the uh, post-game kind of stuff. I wanted to make a two-parter. I kind of wanted to put both videos in one, but I kind of made a two-parter instead. And, um, yeah, you know, PES 4, FIFA 2005, 10 years later. Let me know what you guys think, um, you know, of the, the day after all this happened. You know what I mean? That's what I want to know. Um because those are my uh, my thoughts and stuff. So anyway, guys, thank for you for watching this small video. Hope you enjoyed it. And um, if there's anything I, I left out, I might post it in the comments if there was anything else I wanted to mention that I haven't already. But uh, thanks for watching this tiny, teeny-weeny mini-series, and I hope you all have a good night. Thanks for watching. See you next time.